good, whatever it is. I'm Entelis. Welcome back to Stellaris. So, we're just going to continue off right from where we left. And I'm actually pre-recording this right after the last episode. So, any comments I haven't seen, I apologize. Ooh. Okay. Captain Michael Lambert and the away team beam down to it. One to explore the planet. Interesting mineral composition seems to warrant further study. However, the approaching iron storm forces the away team to return to the ship before the geological analysis can be completed. With the rapidly increasing interference, the transport chief very nearly loses the away team's transport patterns, but is fortunately able to beam the captain, Michael Lambert, and the away team up to the Mag USS Magellan safely. Following their return, Michael, Captain Michael Lambert and the members of the away team appear to be acting strangely, becoming angry and indeed violent towards other crew members with little provocation. The executive officer has become concerned that there may be something wrong with the away team and believes that they should be examined by the ship's doctor. Um, justifying the away team's actions as a result of extensive time spent in deep space. Let's send them to sick bay. The ship's doctor has run a complete medical examination of Captain Michael Lambert and the away team. As far as the doctor can tell, there is nothing wrong with any of them, and no explanation can be provided to explain their violent behavior. The executive officer has the captain and the away team confined to the brig until they can determine the cause of their change in behavior and how it can be resolved. Captain Michael Lambert eventually confides in the executive officer that they are not from this universe, that they have been transported, transposed places with their opposites here. The captain has ordered the away team to keep up the pretense until they could determine a way to return to their own universe, but to the differences between the two universes Mamie made that impossible. The transport chief believes that they can, that there may be a way to return the away team to their own universe and hopefully recover their own captain and away team in the process. However, there is a chance that the approach may fail and they would end up losing both away teams. We gotta save our people. So we'll do it. <clears throat> oh no. The captain and the away team from the parallel universe are escorted by a security team to the transporter room where the transporter team chief attempts to repeat the process that brought them to this universe and sent their own captain and away team together. Before de dematerializing, the captain from the other universe tells the first officer from this universe that the universe is weak and ripe for conquest and that they will crumble as all weak civilizations do. There's a problem with the transporter and it all and it shorts out during the transport cycle. The transport chief tries to recover the signal but it's now gone forever. It's likely that both versions of Captain Michael Lambert and the OAT members were lost during transport. The distraught transport chief promises to fix the error that led to the incident taking place, but it won't bring back the captain or the lost crew members. Dang it. Uh, we need a new science captain. We're going through these fast. I am so sorry, everyone. And we're going to do the eager young guy. Okay. And where are you? Right here. We need to continue surveying the system. I'm so sorry to everyone that just died because of that. And let's go here and construction ship. You can build a research station there. Failure is 70%. Eesh. We're going to leave that be for now. And you guys. Head further out. Did we go up 30%? Nah, that's fine. Ship designer. I don't think we've gone up in technology. Our Corvettes, or yeah, our Corvettes still don't look all that great. So we're using the science for, okay. Appears to be the result of a collision. A ship traveling at full warp ram the planet for reasons unknown. 10,000 years ago. Interesting. So, science versus tactical versus engineering all look the same other than this one torpedo slot. We should use the engineering version, but honestly, we'll probably upgrade technology completely soon. Science ship. Yeah, go ahead and survey that system. Oh, all the research is done at once. New research. Deflector. Linear warp core. Modular nuclear reactor. We're going to do the nuclear reactor. We're going to 
reduce our leader recruitment cost because we've needed a lot of those lately and increase our engineering speed by 3% okay and there we go and we're on the fastest speed just because there's not a whole ton going on right now do we oh we've got tons what do we want to do I want another colony ship and we're gonna recolonize Mars oh so fast I, I need to slow this down honestly new research and we're gonna do the sensor array I'm thinking or no we're gonna do physics because that's automatic exploration too which would help okay and you are done with everything it looks like so survey that system and resume again automatic exploration will make this so much better okay new research wow this is so fast tile blockers naval capacity we don't need the naval capacity what do we need as far as tile blockers go yes I know but it's paused okay so we have the animal we have mountains Volcanoes and toxic kelp. We're going to do volcanoes, I think. And now we will resume. I really wish our borders would expand faster. Because I want some of these surrounding systems. So we can finally... So we can be stepping up the pace at which we are gathering resources or research and stuff like that and I want to combine our territory because Seoul has a decent reach but everything else is really lacking and our colony ship is going to take a while still don't know why I focused on Seoul 30% yeah let's research that thank you And we've got more energy credits coming in now. 23 minerals per month. That's not bad. I mean, we definitely want higher, of course, but that's not bad. Menoc, I think I'm going to give you a space station. 288 to build that. Yeah, we're going to build a spaceport for you. Just so we have more than one in case everything goes poorly again. And that's probably definitely going to happen, given my track record. And I just realized I didn't start my timer at the beginning of this video. So this might be longer, it might be shorter. But we'll see. I swear I remember starting that too. Station complete. Oh yeah, that's our uh, energy mine, or whatever it's called. So, USS Enterprise, do I have many upgrades I can do for you? Okay, that is super expensive. Jump cooldown time minus 100%. Charge time minus 100%. And FTL speed plus 25. That's faster. We're going to actually ignore it for now. And the Fahrenheit, I didn't realize I'd missed this planet, so we're going to come and research and survey that system now which is really out of the way, but I'd like to actually split up our ships anyways. And probably go this way later too. Maybe we'll move the um, Magellan this direction. Research, oh, I didn't even look at what that was. 30% failure, okay, we're good. Colony ship, okay, soul, colony ship, where is Mars right now? There we go. Cool. We found more species. Colonize the planet. I'm going to put you smack dab in the middle. And you're not Sol Prime. What is up right now? I, I can't rename this. Which makes me fearful of other things too. Huh. Everything seems to be running just fine. But for some reason my keyboard doesn't work right now which is rather concerning okay I've discovered a ship yep new research we're gonna do 
warp range. So I think that would be rather helpful. Leveled up. He's surveying. Awesome. And one nice thing about Mars is our limit right here. It's the number of systems, not the number of planets. So these systems that have multiple planets that we can colonize, they only count as one up here. So Mars is actually rather helpful. Can I? I really want to rename this. I can add letters, but I... Oh, there we go. That was weird. You're now Mars. Okay, thank you. And Menoch Prime is about to complete their space station. Awesome. And we're probably going to want to increase our military size. Spaceport. I can do a level 2 upgrade as well. I'm going to do that. Oh. As more and more alien citizens settle on Earth. Oh, man. Stoke ethics. Oh. Okay, and Tahans will not be tolerated, I think. And we can put an armor module. That's way expensive, though. We'll probably just put that on our Earth space station for now. And for now, I mean, when we can actually afford it. What can we do with you guys? Offer trade deal? Can we do an active sensor link now? Oh, Romulus. Okay, they're militarists, and yeah. I'm not the research agreement. Active sensor link, and you still don't want this. We're going to go for that anyways, and we'll offer you some energy credits. How many does it take? Oh. Oh. Our citizens are attacking. Concerned. Investigate. Very concerned. This will not stand. I. This intolerance is not acceptable in the Federation. 59 energy credits for a 30 year. Yeah, we'll do that. And. They accept. Okay, cool. And how is our research going? I really want that automatic exploration. It's going. Oh. I didn't realize you were the one way over here. We're going to survey that system. Actually, if they still have open borders with us, let's... And I still can't shift issue orders, so survey here. We're going to explore their space while well, we still can. Okay. <clears throat> the vessel above is gone six activates the short range as the short range scan initiates the drone it's a nucleonic beam directly at Captain Brandon Kirk, which causes him immediately to fall to the floor. Number one initiates right alert and a medical team rushes to the bridge. At first glance he appears to be knocked out with the chief medical officer realizes the captain is in fact in a deep space in sleeping in a deep REM cycle. Ren Kirk is generating neurotransmitters at unprecedented levels and appears to be having vivid dreams. Put up shield, try to get out of range. Let's I don't want to say this is dangerous armors. Let's put up a shield. The chief medical officer thinks cutting off the beam is not a good idea. Okay, I agree. After all, you have no idea what effects on your moving the beam might have on the captain. You're right. Okay. The helmsman maneuvers the ship away from the drone, but even at full impulse, it manages to keep up with your ship, continuing firing the nuclear beam. We'll wait and see. 50 minute passes, and the captain seems to sleep soundly. The crew is uneasy about allowing an alien vessel to easily paralyze Brandon Kirk. We must wait. We do not know anything about it. After ten long, another ten long minutes, the drone finally turns off its nucleonic beam. Brandon Kirk slowly comes to, surrounded by medical staff. The captain looks as if looks around as if seeing the bridge for the first time. 
showing the names of crew members as if they were distant memories. The crew filled in Brandon Kirk about what happened. The captain is stunned that he was only asleep for 25 minutes. He's experienced an entire lifetime of memories, living in a si simulation of, of life and a long dead planet. The Androne created this simulation as a way to keep the memory of their civilization alive. Brandon Kirk orders the drone to be locked on with a tractor beam and brought to the cargo bay for further study. An examination of the alien drone yields an age old flute, which seems to have a special meaning to Brandon Kirk. The captain has gained wisdom beyond his years through the time spent in the simulation. That's a lot of experience. Ooh. Did he? Yeah, he double leveled up. He's now four. And he's an even better science officer. He gained field manipulation, I think it was. Okay, cool. Not something I think we'll actually use very often. But still. USS Magellan, you can go this way. And we are still working on getting the R automatic exploration. What's costing us so much? Oh, our stations. Yeah. Uh, hopefully won't. Oh, wait, we could upgrade some of our uh, power facilities, couldn't we? And that's done. Warp range plus 5%. And... I'm going to do torpedo casing, because our military ships involve torpedoes. Oh yeah, and because we're colonizing Mars. Forgot about that. Well, recolonizing Mars. Yay! Planetary summary, good food income, very habitable planet. And we're working on expanding it already. I actually want you... We don't need food for now. Removing tile blockers. See our zoo. It had a cost. We'll do trust growth. That's going to take a little while, but I think it will be something very useful in the end. Oh, sorry. I actually didn't mean to talk to you. Oh, they're currently colonizing. Cool. How do they have such large space for only controlling two planets then? They must have stations. And honestly, we should get some stations too. Construction ship. Uh, I want to get here. But I want to make sure that these are combined. We're going to try it anyways. We're going to build a frontier outpost over here, I'm thinking. And we'll see what happens when we do that. Okay, we have started... What started as a simple inquiry to an upsurge in violence against the aliens living and working on Earth has quickly grown beyond the confines of a criminal investigation. Earth security has identified a number of commonalities linking the incidents. However, the breakthrough comes as from the brief final testimony provided by a human witness fatally shot. Forensic evidence points to a connection with the Orphis mining facility on Luna. Yes, we will send a team there. Okay, and we need a general, which... Okay, we need a leader for that. Leaders. Is a general not an admiral? Are you sure? Has one transport ship in orbit, yeah. So, Earth, we're going to need an army. And... Okay, uninhabited, what is it? And indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Cool. We're going to get a human assault army. Thank you. USS Fahrenheit. Let's explore Romulus real quick. Because I don't know when we're going to lose access. Probably soon. We'll do better sensors. And our army is being built. Let's get... Okay. Magellan, where are you? You're... Okay, you're way over here. And let's go survey down there. Now let's get a general. Well, I'm thinking about a recruit. Eager. Lifespan. Increased damage. Honestly... 
I'm I'm gonna go with eager because I don't think you're gonna see all that much combat and we'll embark these guys as soon as they're done okay 15 come on we gotta head to Luna quickly Okay, you finished. Cool. And embark all. You get general. Transport fleet. Research project. Go. Oh, we have a Romulan ship. That's scanning Earth. Cool. Hopefully we don't have too much bad happen from that. Okay, USS First Explod Explodationary Force Security Forces have swept through the Orifice Mining Facility, hunting for evidence connecting the facility to anti-alien violence, sweeping the <laughs> space. The facility administrator, Industrious John Paxton, sought to assure the investigators of the Orifice's uninvolvement in the recent trouble. This is provided untrue, however, after a Mako team were attacked and killed shortly after unlocking access to a shielded area of the base housing a substantial cast of starship grade weaponry. Alerted to the weapons discharge, firefighters erupted across the base between the investigating forces and surprisingly well trained facility security. The conflict pers persists, forced to commit several waves of, of reinforcement. Eventually, Orpheus is secured at great cost. However, in the chaos the facility administrator loots capture, worse still, the evidence from this facility indicates that Orpheus was not the only weapon that's cast in use by the extremists. Oh, great. Okay. And we have better weapon damage. Spaceport level 3 actually sounds quite nice. We're going to do that. Just in case. Just to be safe, because who knows when Earth will come under attack again. Transport Fleet 1. What does Mars have military-wise? Really nothing. So Transport Fleet 1, I want you... Where's Mars? I want you to land on Mars. So we have something there. John Paxton and the former administrator have emerged from hiding in a dramatic fashion on Mars. Having taken control of the planetary broadcast facilities and government buildings, Paxton declares open revolt against the United Earth accusing of surrendering Earth's future to alien powers. The rebellion, calling itself the Terra Prime Movement, has blocked has backing of a large portion of the United Earth fleet and ground forces. However, it appears to be the disruption of Paxton's operations on Orpheus has forced him to reveal the rebellion sooner than expected. Oh, don't go there. Land. Go, 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 go. You're gonna die. Enterprise is now against me? Oh, that's mean. Oh, that's so dumb. Human defense fleet. Oh, dang. Okay. We we need ships. Space. Come on. Spaceport. I need a destroyer enterprise class. And we should win this. Oh, come on. They lost one Corvette. They keep jumping out and then jumping back in. Okay, and then how far away is that destroyer? Oh, you jerks. I need that destroyer. I need a second one. Ah, dang it. We can only afford one. Man, I was not expecting on losing the... I was not expecting to lose the Enterprise. Where? Okay, thank you. First Fleet, go and engage. You need a leader. Recruit. Sensor. Ship upkeep. Weapons range. Yes. You're hired. Patrol frigates. Where are you? Return and repair. Oh, I've got the Enterprise still. 
but now we have a second ship of similar power. We will crush these guys. Pretty sure we're already at open war with them too. Okay, you guys return and repair. What are you? Rally states, okay. And you guys. Oh. They attacked me first though, dude. You two will need to combine fleets. And that's merge right there. Come on. Being repaired. And we'll get our, our research vessels going in a little bit. Actually, do we have auto? Yes, we do. And you two. Merge fleets. And we're going to need some more armies. Let's get some human assault armies. First fleet. Go blockade Mars. What are you doing? Oh, military wise, you are going to kick my trash. So we will work on that as well. Get rid of all your planetary fortifications. <clears throat> I will control Mars again, whether or not you guys like it. And that's rather militaristic for the Federation, but that's okay. Your research assist, yes. Ooh, let's do army damage, given we're actually in an open war right now. We're gonna need more. That will bring us up to five assault armies versus Mars. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeesh. That's gross. And our two destroyers here, though, will make it so they can't really get anywhere else. Man, Mars has been such a pain for us too. Three. Do I have any? Oh, I do have attachments. Oh, those are expensive. Get another human assault army. You know, let's cancel and have you built on Manic Prime. And let's look at our transport ships too. Transport ships, you get better warp drives, better impulse, and save. Yes. Man. Earth is contested territory again. It's so annoying. Ooh, but our construction ship. Let's build our mining stations. And then we'll build everything else. Universal translator is done. The toxic kelp is actually one that we need. Go ahead and embark all. And let's get transport fleet two. You head to Seoul. And we'll enter orbit of Earth. Thank you. Let's get another human assault army. Now, I don't know how our military strength compares with theirs. Army damage is increased. We're going to do the better deflector, I think. No, we're going to do the warp core. Scan of the 
<sighs> I'm a little sick of this Mars colony. They're being so much of a pain to us right now. Spaceport level 3 isn't far off. Recruitment of armies has been completed on Earth. Armies, I need another human. Let's get two more, actually. And let's see, that brings us to seven. Once we have two more, that will be nine. And that's almost us ready to invade Mars. You guys really don't like us. And they are at war with us, too. We are going to declare rivalry to get the influence. And our scientists lev is leveled up. Good. And we can build another army again. So that gives us a total of 8 currently built with a total of 10. Ugh. Man. It's frustrating how often Mars is an issue. We should just not colonize Mars again. Okay, build. What can we build here? We have positive two food, so we don't need food. Requires research stuffs. We're going to swap you for now. Build a basic society lab. And we need to be able to get rid of mountain ranges. And we'll clear the. We're gonna clear the slums first, I think. And then we'll move these guys over to the slums and get us an increase in power. Armies. We're getting close. But you know what? I think I'm gonna have to say that for the next episode. I'm pretty sure I've gone over time. But I am in Talos. I will catch you later.